minus 1, minus 2, minus, minus x equal negative 1 and y equal negative. And for this one, x equal 3 and y equal negative 2. This is the first pair of order, uh, the first pair of of ordered pair of this uh, of the third vertex and the fourth vertex. Okay, let's see the first method. The second method, my kids. Do I have this is I told that this is the first square. But in fact we have another one. Okay? So this is I will use this or I would like to use here. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Okay, I will I will start from this one. The first line segment that I use it. Then, what is the length of this line segment? It's 4. So I move 4. So I will extend this one. Okay. It will, this one it will be 6. Okay. So I will make like that. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Then like that, my kids. Then like that. So we see the second square. Okay, so what is the coordinates of this? Negative 1, 6. Negative 1, 6. And this, I mean this one, this one. This is 5, this is 5, this is 6. Okay, this is 5, this is 6. I will make here. This is 5 to make it clear. This is 5, this is 4, and this one is 6. Okay, so and this the coordinates of this 3, 6. This is 3, 6. So, now we constructed two squares. Okay? So, as a conclusion, as a conclusion, what are the first, the, the third and the fourth vertices of the square? If we would like to draw, to draw it uh, downwards. So, it would be, it would be negative 1, 2. Negative 1, 2. And the next one, 3, negative 2. Okay, and for the second one, it will be what? It will be 3, 6, 3, 6, and what else? And minus 1, 6, minus 1, 6, okay? So we have two possible, two ways to construct our, our what? Our square, good boy. Now, Question number two. Look at the statement about triangles. For each one, say whether it's possible or impossible. Look at the statement about triangles. For each one, say whether it is possible or impossible. A triangle can have two right angles. Huh? Is it true? This is a right angle. This is a right angle triangle. This is 90 degrees. The question is, told that two triangles can have two angles of exactly 90 degrees. So this is false. Okay. A triangle can have two acute angles. This is acute and this is acute. Acute angles means what? Acute angles means what? Minus angles less than 90 and more than 0. Minus, okay, is an angle between 0 and 90, okay? Is more, more than 0 degree and less, less than what? Than 90 degree. Good one. Okay. So, a triangle can have two acute angles. Yes. For example, this is right angle. This is acute. Then this one is acute. Acute. And this one acute. Means what? Means that is less than 90 degree. And this is also less than 90 degree. And what? And more than zero degree. And here also more than zero degree. Okay, it means an angle between zero and ninety. Means that an angle between 
zero degree. Okay, for example, this is the angular we label A. For example, A, B, C. Okay, the size of the angle A is more than zero and less than ninety degree. Okay, less than ninety degree. This is called what? Called acute angles. Okay, so at the end you can have two acute angles. True. Good boy. Yosef, a triangle can have two obtuse angles. Two obtuse angles. Obtuse angle means what? Means obtuse angle is an angle is an angle lies between or greater than greater than 90 degree and smaller than 180 smaller than 180 degree for example this triangle I will this one okay this is A B C this is for example 130 degree this angle like this this is we call this is we call 100 130 degree and for example this is 30 degree and this one is 20 degree 160 or 20 degree okay this angle my kids it's called an acute angle acute and this one also it's called what this one also it's called acute why because it's less than 90 but this one it's called obtuse obtuse angles why because it's greater than 90 degree and less than 180 so this is a triangle can we construct in fact two tri uh, triangle has two obtuse angle obtuse angle means what more than 90 degree for example if we suppose that's true for example i will suppose that's true means that angle the size the measure of angle b plus c plus a equal 108 but you have two obtuse angles so it will be wrong okay so this one we told that okay you can have false my kids okay question number three the grid shows eight different shapes. Name each shape. Identify. Okay, name each shape. This one is what? This one is a semi semicircle. It's a half of a circle. It's called semicircle. And this one, my kids, it's called a circle. And this one. Okay, this one is a is a rhombus. Why? Because it has four sides equal in length and two opposite angles are equal in size. Two opposite angles are equal are equal in what? Are equal in size. So this one is a rhombus. And this one is a triangle but it's a right angle triangle. Right angled what triangle good boy okay this one I mean and this one it has only one pair of parallel sides and this pair of parallel sides in length that they are not equal so it's called what it's called trapezium it's quadrilateral, yes, but it's the trapezium. Then this one, how many sides? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a regular a hexagon because it's a regular a hexagon. And this one, my kids, is a 
pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. So five sides of different length. So it's a regular what? Pentagon. Pentagon. Okay. And the last one is what? This one. This is this is nine no 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 it's not a ninety degree. Okay. So this one also is a rhombus. A rhombus. Okay. It's not clear it is a square, maybe because of the photo that I made, but it's similar. It uh, seems to be a just a moment. I will check. Okay. So this one we can let's say yes because of the photo. Okay, this is a square. Okay, this is square. It's a regular polygon. Okay, now identify the shape that fits each pair of clues. It's not a polygon. It's not a polygon. Which one? It has no straight sides. Okay, it's a regular polygon. It has less than six sides. Okay. It has more than four matrices. It's not a regular polygon. Let's do the first one. It's not a polygon. This and this. Look, trapezium, hexagon, pentagon, square, rectangle, triangle, and rhombus are polygon. Okay, because it has more three or more sides. But the circle and the semicircle are not a polygon. It has no straight. Lines. So a semicircle, it has a straight line like that. So, but this one it does not have a straight line. Okay. So this the first clue will be B. Small A, it's B. Small B. It has more than four vertices. More than four vertices. So we will work with a hexagon or pentagon. And it's not a regular pentagon. It will be the letter G. Okay? It has more than four vertices. And it's not a regular polygon. This is a regular a hexagon. So I will work only with, I will write this down, the, the letter of the shape. So the small c, it has, it is a regular polygon. It has less than six sides. It has, it's a regular, means what a regular? Means equilateral triangle, equilateral, equilateral triangle or square or what else? Or pentagon, regular pentagon or hexagon. Okay, that, okay. So, look, it's a regular polygon. All of these are regular. It has less than six, less than six sides. So this is a hexagon, six sides, and we, let's say, cross this up. Then, what we have, equilateral triangle, do I have here? Equilateral, no, I don't have. I will cross this. A square, I have a square H. Or pentagon, pentagon, this is irregular, irregular. So the answer is a square. A square which is the letter H. Okay. Then sketch the following polygons. Mark the letters of the sides on your data. The first one has been done for you. Okay. Close. What we have? The polygon has two equal sides. This polygon has a okay two equal sides. One side of the polygon is double the length of another side. Okay, the perimeter of the polygon is 40. Okay, look, this one, this example is a working example. This polygon has two equal sides. This is 16 centimeters. 16 centimeters. And this is also 16 centimeters. Okay? 
Look, one side of the polygon is double the length of another side. Mean, this is 16 centimeter, is double this one, the third side. This is, you can see, 8 centimeter. Okay? Means, this is a scholar isosceles triangle. Okay? Because it has two sides equal in length. Okay? And the third side is different to the first, to the, uh, to the other sides. Now we move to the next example. Sorry. Sorry, have that. Okay, thank you for that. So uh, the rest will be on more. Thank you for that, my kids. I love you so much. Goodbye.